are, are relatively close. Uh, it all comes down to the, uh, the aggression, although the one thing that Ben does get is uh, another one drop in Tormented Hero. Okay, so we are going to go over to our second match. This is going into game three. If you recognize the gentleman on the right, that's that Philip Bertarelli. He, is, he and James Redmond are two of the four undefeated players left in this Open. He won the Star City Games uh, Open not too long ago uh, in Worcester, Massachusetts with the Red-White Devotion deck. Or at that time it was just Red-White Aggro. He's then switched over to Red-White De Devotion. And he's playing against James, James Redmond on the other side, who is... Yeah, playing white, uh, white weenie. James Redman is playing a uh, white weenie deck, and we were talking about that a lot. And, uh, you know, turn one, Boris Elite, turn two, Imposing Sovereign. Not a bad start, but again, Bertola, Bertelli has uh, cards like um, Mizium Mortars. He also has uh, Anger of the Gods. Anger of the Gods can be huge uh, in this matchup. So let's see what happens. Both players are at 7-0. Um, and this is game three right here. So looks like Redmond's going to keep pressing the advantage here. He's pressing his uh, aggressiveness. Yeah, He's going to activate Muta Vault and attack in for seven. Once again, we see these white aggro decks just be so fast. James has put four cre three creatures onto the board, four if you count Muta Vault, by turn three here. Yeah, and that Judge's Familiar was huge because it makes sure that he doesn't get blown out by a turn three uh, anger of the guys. All right, Bertorelli's going to play Sacred Foundry into play tapped. He is all the way down to 12 right now. He does, ha does have Ash Zealot uh, available to block this turn, though, uh, well, he didn't have it last turn due to Imposing Sovereign. But the Boros is still a 3-3. James could almost just start attacking creatures into him. Wow, so uses a Mizium Mortars on a Boros Elite, and that gets countered. So interesting play there, Bert Bertorelli, he probably should have just played the land untapped if that was going to be his line. But yeah, uh, he could have He could have played the land untapped, taken two, and then he would have his choice of creatures to kill. And either way, I think I still go after the Imposing Sovereign there. Just because right. if, if Redmond does decide to go all in again, then you can just block the Muta Vault and be okay with it. But right. Redmond's going to swing everything. However, it looks like Bertorelli might have gotten the Imposing Sovereign anyway. Redmond gets very aggressive there, swings Muta Vault and Boros oh, Elite. Oh, wow. So... Suicides the Sovereign Looks because like he has another one. In. Okay, so st wants to just keep pounding in there. And Ber Bertorelli is already at seven now, so let's see if he can... He does have a couple of copies of Frostburn yeah, Weirds in his hand, but they're all coming into play tapped. A five guard and he has a set of Frostburn Weirds there. So he's going to play two of them into play tapped. Passes back to turn. He is tapped out right now. And at seven life, he does have one blocker. We'll see. It'll, it'll only take something like a Brave the Elements to put Bertorelli in a very weak position. So looks like Bertorelli is going to block the Imposing Sovereign again and take five, dropping to two. It looks like Redmond does have another Judge's Familiar. And, oh, and there's a, wow, Judge's <laughs> Familiar and, <laughs> and a Precinct Captain. Captain. So the Judge continues to put creatures onto the board. Bertorelli has to be concerned. This is the white, now he, the white weenie with red deck. One Mizzium Boros Mortars. Charm. Mizium Mortars was drawn, <laughs> but uh, does not have six mana. Not yet. He can go after Judge's Familiar, which is probably the best card to go after for right well, now. Well, the thing is is that I don't think you can wait until the Mortars is at six mana because you'd have to have it at seven mana to get the Judges, to get by Judge's yeah, Familiar. So I think the game's not lasting that long. I think you just go after Judge's Familiar, to be honest. He's going after Precinct Captain. Oh, yeah. I don't like that play because do you have an answer to the Judge's Familiar. You're at two, right? He is at two. Yeah, well, so. play a third Frostburn weird. Yeah, if you His go after. His hand is Fanatic of Mogus and one other card. If you go after Judge's Familiar there, then James really doesn't have a good attack. He has no cards left in his hand. Now you could just lose to that flyer. Yeah, so we see the swing there from Ash's It puts James down to 16. To be fair, Bertorelli's Fanatic of Mogus is going to deal 9 right now. So Redmond's closer, closer to dead than it may appear. But <laughs> Philip Bertorelli yeah, feels very close to dead as Re the, the Judge's Familiar puts him down to 1. Red Redmond has two blockers, though, so he's going to know what's up. Once uh, he sees that fanatic, let's see. If, does Bertorelli have an answer, or is he able to kill Redmond this turn? I believe Bertorelli has a Storm Breath Dragon, but he failed to hit the fifth land oh for wow. it. Oh, wow. Okay, so doesn't have a fifth mana. Has a fanatic Amogus. We know that. Now, I, I like this attack first. See what Redmond does. Maybe he'll just take it all. So, But even, but if, even if he does, does, it's not enough. Yeah, the yeah. fanatic. Well, yeah, it's, not, it's still not enough damage, even if he takes it all. I don't believe so. So we'll see here. This is a swing for five by Bertorelli. I th I think I'd still probably just chump block, but I think he's thinking about because you, you don't want to see you don't you don't want to see like Nykthos double Mogus or something. Nykthos is terrifying right now. Yeah. <laughs> so we see Boros Elite looks like it's gonna 
Jump yeah, in that's front, something. So it looks like he's going to block with both his Muta Vault and his Boros Elite here. Basically all in on Judge's Field Mirror, which is fine. Well, it should be, yeah, Actually, should be yeah. good right now. <laughs> Let's see what... Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, if Bernarelli used that Mizzium Mortars on the on the judges familiar. I think he probably gives himself at least one more turn, um, or does or might just win outright because of the Fanatic Mogus. All right, so block was made. We'll see. It looks like one two mana into pumps for Frostburn Weird. And. Okay, so. So what are we going to have here? Looks like is is James just going to attack with both creatures here? Can't make out the last card in his hand. Oh, it looks like it might. Oh, no. Right, he doesn't have it. He does nothing. So James Redmond, two games to one, defeats Philip Bertrelli. That'll move Redmond up to 8-0. Oh. He's one of our two remaining.